<laughs> I would never want to live in a world where only some people can tell certain stories. I think that the question is that if you're going to make a film, you need to know why you're making it. You need to be able to answer to it. You need to be able to have a level of integrity and responsibility for what you're doing and why you're doing it. And as long as you can do that, I think great work can come out of it. Hi, my name's Garrett Bradley and I directed Time. I've had two other films at Sundance that were shorts and I had never been to labs before that. Um, I also had no expectation of getting into the festival at all. So in 2017, I made a short film called Alone. You know, I do hope that uh, the film in some way can, uh, we can start to like expand our ideas on love and include more and more people, as many people as possible. That film came to fruition because a friend of mine had been arrested and I um, was very close with his girlfriend. I had initially thought of that, conceived of that film as being just a facilitation of conversation between herself and other women who were going through this. And I contacted an organization called Flick, which is Friends and Families of Louisiana's Incarcerated Children. And Gina Womack, who was the co-founder and director of the organization, picked up and she was like, oh, you gotta just talk to Fox. Like, you need to speak to Fox Rich. And I didn't know who Fox Rich was. Judge's office. But I got to know Fox in the process of making that film. And at the time, Robert had been at Angola for about 18 years. It was important to me, I think, to extend the conversation. And I think there can be hundreds of films about this. The reason why I wanted to make the film was to show another example of how women are taking the burden of incarceration, how they're moving through it, how they're keeping their families together, um, and how her specifically, how she was able to, to move through and, and conquer the system in many ways. And it, there was just a matter of focusing in on what that routine looked like as a mother with her, with her sons and with the bureaucracy of being on the telephone a huge amount of the time. Um, and it wasn't until actually the last day of shooting that she handed me all of her family archive. I didn't know that it existed. In all of my work, and in this film in particular, it was important to create a world that felt specific, but was also universal. And I think that Fox's strength is exceptional, but she's also and in, in deeply inspiring to the community around her. And I think the reason for that is because she's functioning from the premise of love and the importance of having a strong family foundation. I, my hope is that people will watch the film and, and be able to connect with it on that premise. Like it, it actually doesn't matter where you're from. Love and, um, and a support network is a crucial part of your survival. Gabe Rhodes and I, who's the editor on the film, applied to the, the Sundance Editing Lab. And showing a cut to the community that was there was incredibly helpful because we were able to get a sense of how other people were understanding the story. It was also just, what does it mean to have a strong black female lead in a film? How do you allow her to be the wholest part of herself? How do you bring that out into the film? We submitted it to, to the film festival shortly after the lab. It really did just kind of luckily fall together and then, and then when we were accepted into the film festival, it was incredibly validating. The film festival is not something, in, in, at least in my experience, that you assume is gonna happen. For a bold voice that brings poetry and grace to filmmaking, the U.S. Documentary Directing Award goes to Garrett Bradley. Can you see us? The whole world is right here. Congratulations! I just wanted to uh, share this with you, and I love you, and um, and I love your whole family. <laughs> we love you, Garrett Bradley. You're the truth. Thank you, Sundance. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.